Are you a programmer slash developer? And do you want to move to cybersecurity career specifically to hacking or offensive security? You have all of the advantages in the world. Many people believe only Linux administrators and network engineers can easily move to cybersecurity career. No! Programmers or coders even have the equal advantage. And this is what this video is all about. I will reveal the top programming languages for hackers or offensive security. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am the internet. Action Stomp. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. PHP is a general purpose scripting language geared towards to web development. Yes, we have Java, .NET, uh, Python, or Node.js web-based applications, but nothing is more vulnerable than PHP. If you are familiar with PHP, you can still use it for hacking or penetration testing. Most common usage is to identify web vulnerabilities. You can take advantage of this knowledge as it would be easier for you to do the actual attack. You can use your PHP skills to identify vulnerabilities and escalate attacks like insecure deserialization, broken access control, sensitive data exposure, remote command executions, and many others. You can also use PHP script as part of SQL injection attacks which can be used to get information of the server, or you can use code to write configurations, like this example. It writes password of non-existing user. You can use the familiarity with this language for educational purposes, because most courses and labs related to web attacks are PHP web-based applications. Another usage of PHP not very popular, but you can also use it for web reconnaissance, and you can add various functions like automations as well. The biggest advantage of PHP is it's really very easy to understand as a programming language, and most vulnerable web-based applications runs in PHP, because amongst any programming languages, PHP has the most number of vulnerable functions. Many people consider this not a programming language, but for me, if there's an if else loops and conditions, it's a programming language. It's still a language. Anyway, so bash stands for born again shell is a scripting language that allows users to control the innermost component of an operating system using text based commands. All right. One of the most important stage of an attack is gathering of information. This is also known as reconnaissance and vulnerability scanning. And the good news is there are many available tools. Some of them are free and open source. The question is, how can you run all of these tools? You can run it manually or automatically using scripting. So scripting is a way of quickly and efficiently perform recon testing, exploitation, and many others. And the best scripting tool for automation is Bash. You can run and automate shell commands with also other scripts like Python, PHP, etc. It's also available in any Linux and Mac platforms. It's the best scripting tool for file manipulation, and it can be used to identify if servers are being attacked and trace how the attack happened and where the attack came from. Here is a bash scripts example to automate reconnaissance. JavaScript is a programming language that allows you to implement many complex features on web pages. It's really important because of cross-site scripting or XSS, 
which is still one of the most common web attacks. It is estimated that more than 60% of web applications are susceptible to XSS, which eventually account for more than 30% of all web applications on the entire internet. XSS is consistently in the list of OWASP top 10. It's also the most reported vulnerability in most bug bounty platforms. And please don't underestimate XSS as it can be nested to other attacks such as CSRF or cross-site request forgery. With this combination, you can successfully hijack the session of the victim. It can also be used for remote command execution, web application fuzzing to automate sending wide range of invalid data, and to identify vulnerable functions as well. Here is an example where we execute XSS. Oh, that is too simple. Anyone can do that. How about this one? And this. And this. The advantage of knowing JavaScript, there is no other effective script for XSS attack. Many successful web attacks require advanced knowledge of JavaScript. And lastly, many IoT devices are vulnerable to XSS attacks. Assembly is a low-level programming language that is intended to communicate directly with the computer's hardware. In cybersecurity, it is mainly used for malware development regardless of the operating system, such as Windows, Linux, and Mac. It is used to create buffer, heap, and SEH overflow. It is also used to create shellcode, and this is executed by the target application due to exploit, so that the attacker can open a remote shell. Assembly language is also used for reverse engineering and bypassing various security protections as well. Advantages. You know, a highly skilled assembly programmer can write malware with polymorphic codes, and this can change itself to evade detection. And the level of skills that I'm talking about is that high, and it's very, very rare. But if the malware developer has the skills, he or she can be extremely dangerous. Assembly language is a requirement for advanced malware research, both for offensive and defensive. And you can earn lots of money if you got this role. It's also a requirement in many advanced penetration testing certifications, such as OSEE. Python is a simple, fast, robust, and powerful programming language. It can be used for web applications, mobile applications, desktop applications, gaming, network automation, cloud, etc. It's the most useful and probably the most important programming language to learn. It is also used for cybersecurity. Many libraries, modules, and projects focus on hacking written in Python. There are various readily made scripts for brute force, DDoS, backdoors, malware, etc. It can also be used for automation in many different ways, such as vulnerability scanning, recon with Python and Map, uh, API integration with other tools such as Burp Suite. It can be used as an attack payload, such as Keylogger, Brute Force, Remote Code Executions, and many others. For networking, there are many built-in modules, such as KP, DNS Python, etc. And for web, you can use it for fuzzing, session hijacking, and there is Jinja for template injection, and many more. Python is a language that is very easy to learn. Python has too many use for cybersecurity and hacking, and a single slide and a section of a video is not enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a few more videos dedicated for Python, for hacking, and for cybersecurity in general. So those are the top programming languages you need to enter hacking or offensive security. Do you need all five? Not really. I would say at least two. 
For developers out there, can we start hacking? Yeah, can. But of course, you still need to have a good foundations in Linux, networking, and security. Give me a thumbs up if you agree with me. Also, give me a thumbs up even if you don't.